Alright, the next thing we want to do is going to be use notification, which we will use to make a function that fires notifications like these ones, uh, like these ones, like these ones, Google Chrome notifications, oops, sorry, Google Chrome notifications, or whatever notifications like this, I know that Mac has them and also Windows, I don't know how they look on Windows, but anyways, so let's go. By the way, we're going to be using this notification uh, API, it's called notification, and yeah, that's it, all you have to do is do this new notification and whatever, all right? So first of all, let's create use notification, right? And this will have a title plus some options. And now what I want to do first is check if, um, if notification is not in window, then I'm going to return. All right, because we should have access to window that notification like this. Window that notification. I think this wouldn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work because this thing doesn't have notifications enabled. For example, this one, my notifications are blocked. I'm going to allow them just for now. I'm going to reload and I'm going to execute the same code I just did. As you can see here, it's granted. So here we go, new notification, hi, whatever. And as you can see, it shows up here, all right? Now it has a lot of options. So all the options are here, for example, icon tag, direction, data, body, batch, actions, icon, image, require interaction, silent, title, vibrate, if you wanted to vibrate, that one will be for mobile, right? So the person is going to give us title and options. And we're going to check that they, if it's not on window, it's because notification is not supported on this browser. So we're going to just stop there. Or we're going to use effect. And actually, no, we're not going to use effect. We're just going to make a function called fire notification. That's it. Yep. All right. And this is going to be a return it, return fire notification. I think this one better trigger notification, whatever that is. All right, we wanna use this later. For now, what I want to do is to request permissions. So as you can see here on the API, there are some properties and this one is the first one I care about. Notification that permission is read only and it tells me if it's denied, granted or default. By default, all your notifications are uh, denied. So in this one, as you can see, it says the user choice is unknown and therefore the browser will act as if the value was denied. So what I want to do is I want to say if notification, what is it? Notification that permission. not equals granted and here i'm gonna ask for permissions else here i am gonna just uh, do new notification title and the options i guess let me see notification title yes and the options and the options can be for example body or the icon or whatever Awesome. So it's working. Now, if notification permissions is not granted, I am going to look at the static properties, no, nope, at the static methods. Here, which is request permission, which should give me a promise. Yep. So here, let's say notification, request permission, then permission and here again the it will be again default denied or granted so here i'm going to check again if permission equals granted that means that i can show the notification all 
else it means the user doesn't want me to annoy him so i will just do return nothing and we're done that's how easy it is but it's pretty it's pretty cool to have and to use the notification api so now that means that here i can make a button right and it will be on click trigger notification and the title will be can i steal your kimchi perfect let's open this somewhere else all right and if i click i already denied i already denied them so i'm gonna allow them now manually the thing is that with the users when you ask them once and they say no there is no way to ask them again it's like a one-time thing so if uh, at the beginning of the days when i logged into code sandbox i denied notifications so now that's why they don't ask me anymore all right so let's check i click hello and i have it in here saying can i steal your kimchi awesome now let's go and maybe open the options and it'll be body i love kimchi don't you by the way if you want to know all the options you can just go to the notification mdn all right in the mozilla developer network so we refresh a uh, hello and now can i steal your kimchi i love kimchi don't you and the url awesome so it's working now the person is free to pass whatever they want they can pass image they can pass icon direction fucking in renotify whatever silent i know vibrate timestamp doesn't matter all right and it's working we have fire notification as you can see it's not a hook but still it's like it's nice to be able to use functions like this that is functional programming is lovely all right awesome my people now we're done here and on the next one we are going to use axios which will be awesome see you there bye bye